black men get the white women that other white men genuinely do not want. You don't get the top of the line white women. You don't. You get leftovers. Look at most of our celebrities. They don't. They did not marry women who came from the richest white families. Black money and white money don't behave the same. New black money will jump on any poor white girl and make her a billionaire, Tiger Woods. <laughs> rich white woman, rich white money doesn't operate that way. You no interracial relationship is acceptable because we have too many black women who are unmarried. Black women are the largest population on the planet Earth. If you can't find one in America, get it from Africa. If you can't get it from Africa, go to the Caribbean, go to Canada, go to Europe. Why would a black man need to copulate, build a family with anything other than a black woman when you have so many black women available? It is an exercise in self-hatred. There's no way to get around it. My hair. I knew it. <laughs> That good old hair. <laughs> he just has this obsession with my hair. It's her nice hair, I just, I just can't believe it's her hair. Like, I remember when I first was trying to bag it, and we had snuck off to Cabo, and, like, she had went in the water, and she was swimming, and she put her head in and came out. I was like, yo, you don't got to take your lace front off? <laughs> I'm like, you could get it wet? I'm like, what kind of glue you using? <laughs> and she was like, what? She was like, this is my hair. I was like, yo, why are you fronting? Come to find out, it's really her hair. Like, every away. day, he makes sure to tell me that he loves my hair. He even pulls on it like he's still in disbelief. No, I, I just can't believe it's not pieces. <sighs> well, there you go. Because I'm, I'm, like, looking at the edge to see if there's, like, edge control, lace front glue, little net. And it's like I'm not knocking it, but, you know, I used to be seeing it a lot. And I'm like, now it's like, damn, that's real roots. <laughs> there you go. Let's pray this baby has my hair. <laughs> Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So as per the title guys, you can see in today's video, once again, we're going to continue to talk about this spicy Latina because in their own words, Sin Santana came out here and say that black male cater to them as Latina woman. But unfortunately for this woman, every single time they come out here and they say something like this, these male will make them swallow those words each and every single time. What you guys just listened to was another self-hating black male letting the whole entire world know how they hate themselves. This is precisely why I keep telling y'all the only reason these males seek out these non-selected group of women from their own community is because they want to erase every fiber of their being. This male didn't necessarily say, I wish your child can inherit her kindness, her intellect, the loving nature that he has. None of that. This male say that the only reason that he wanted her to inherit was the quote unquote good hair from his spicy Latina. Notice the dig that he took at black woman because unfortunately it seemed like in order for these male to uplift these non-selected from their community, they for whatever reason, it really seemed like they continuously how to put black woman down because as far as I can recall, Nicki Minaj wasted an entire decade of her life with this clown. And yes, even though Nicki Minaj is an artist and they tend to use all of these extravagant stuff. You guys know that Nicki Minaj hair is very beautiful. It is very long. It comes all the way down to her back, right? Can you guys just imagine the conversation that these male be having with these women about us as black women, about her hair, about her body? I've got Nicki Minaj. This photo here, obviously she's wearing a little makeup, but the whole reason behind this shoot was for her to be in her natural state, right? This right here is Nicki Minaj hair. So for this clown to come out here and say, well, I needed to know what type of glue that she was wearing. He couldn't believe that he was really seeing this real hair. Like, what are you talking about? I feel like this is why these women be so comfortable coming out here consistently disrespecting black women because we know that Erica Mena consistently, she was out here shading Nicki Minaj only for Safari to come out here and say that marrying her was literally the biggest mistake that he had made in his entire life. And on top of that, to get with what this woman, Erica Mina, has been claiming to be for the longest time, which is an Afro-Latina, we already know that they only will utilize this term when it's beneficial to them. Any other day of the week, they will probably come out here and say that, oh, I'm Dominican. At this point, I have zero intent to come out here to explain the difference between race, nationality, and ethnicity to these grown-ass people. So beautiful goddess that you're viewing here on your screen, Safari, after 
I guess his relationship with the racist Eric Amina came to an end. He got in a relationship with this true goddess, a real Afro Latina who is Amara La Negra. Oh, you guys already know that Erica lost it, right? God. God. Oh my God! But wait, two wrong. No, for real. Like, I'm not even over exaggerating. Like, this is your fly. Mira, your fly. They didn't even know me. I'm beyond here for it. Me too. What? This is nuts. No, seriously. Can I get? Where's my Rolex? Excuse me. It's, it's, it's a baby's mom. They don't even. They don't even know what a Rolex is. No. 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 That's so sweet. No seriously. You know, I'm doing this because I'm new to Miami, and you know, ever since I've been here, Amara has been a great, you know, everything friend, tour guide, helping me with my Spanish, and she's just been, you know, business partner. Yes, great business partner, great with the future endeavors. She'll send me things in the morning and just say, "Hey, this is this motivational app. It sends you inspirational quotes every day." And as a black man, we need that. You know, real talk, because we just wake up and feel like the world is against us every day just because stepping out of my house. I love that. You know, I got to be thankful to God when I can walk back in my house and be alive. Okay. Yes. There's people out here really losing their lives. Somebody in my neighborhood, his son went outside and never came back this morning. You know, so. Yeah, I see that. Yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm grateful. You know, I appreciate you. Your family's beautiful. Obviously, she couldn't really fathom the fact that this black male, after talking so negatively about woman that looks like Amara La Negra, she couldn't fathom the fact that he was out here celebrating her as a black woman and her black kids rather than her a spicy Latina and her biracial kids, right? So as you guys can see, after that video started to make its way around the internet, this is what she had to say. Oh, so cute. It's just very interesting how my kids have never received gifts like this by the waste man. Oh, so now he's a waste man. You didn't know that he was a waste man prior before you got in a relationship with him. Also, you saw he was dogging out so many women. You came out here, tried to bash Nicki Minaj in defense of him only for him at the end to say that you was the biggest mistake that he made in his life. Oh, okay. So she said, my daughter just turned three. All she got was a birthday cake and a few balloons in his living room. And please don't get me started on how he didn't do anything for my son's first birthday until two weeks after the fact. And again, that was just balloon in his living room. But happy everyone enjoyed this circus theme party with a deadbeat clown as the special guest. So like I said, I'm pretty sure apart from the fact that she can't really fathom that unfortunately for her, she realized too late that this male was a clown and he should have never been her husband, let alone her second baby daddy. But nonetheless, I feel like the true issue that she has here is that he was out here with a black woman instead of being with her. To be honest, guys, I feel like because of the pillow talk that these men be having with their non-black woman, I feel like this is why they get so butt hurt when they see these self-hating men come out here and they tend to get in a relationship with one of us. But I do have to point out something here. Do you guys notice that there's a pattern Erica Mena as well as Sin Santana, they were both in this fake lesbian relationship. They then decided that that wasn't really, I guess, escalating them to where they wanted to be. So what they both did, they both started dating the trash collectors of society. Remember, Sin Santana said that black male catered to Latina. Well, shortly after she said that, she also was out here on national television showing us that her king wasn't really catering to her as she wanted us to believe. Rather, he was out here entertaining a beautiful black goddess. And now for this racist Erica, she lost it because this same male that was talking so badly about black woman was out here celebrating this black woman here, an Afro-Latina, Amara La Negra, and her black kids. She claimed that he didn't even do that for his biracial kids, which are supposed to be so much better than these black kids, right? 
Imagine the hit that has to be to this racist preference ego, right? I also feel like because of Safari association with black women, is what has caused her to hate and envy black women even more. Remember she calls Pice a blue monkey? <laughs> And I feel like the only reason why she was displaying all of this misplaced anger to Spice is because of the relationship that Spice has with Safari. Just in case you guys didn't necessarily know, after Erica Mina came out here and she called this black woman a blue monkey, naturally the viewers were calling for her to get fired off of Love and Hip Hop. And sidebar, why are you guys still watching this ratchet ass show? Do you guys not know that these non-black women are consistently out here cosplaying as us as black women? And unfortunately, that imagery, when they talk about this type of stuff, they're not going to associate that with these non-black women. Unfortunately for us as black women, because we continue to allow these races, all of these black male preference within our space, this is why they have continuously been able to profit and gain off of our own image while simultaneously damaging our image even more. So naturally, after she came out here and she made these very awful remarks, she was then trying to do damage control basically doing what they do best these women this is why they're in black male are two pieces to the pod because these black male as well as these non-selected group of women from their own community they never want to come out here and take any type of accountability when it pertains to you as a black woman so once this whole thing happened she was coming out here trying to do damage control she went and she sat down on this podcast so check this clip out and then we will come back with more not only will I be making up for that, but I will constantly be doing my best to remind them how sorry I am and the things I do from here on out. <laughs> and, um, and genuinely, just overall, I'm sorry. Would you like to apologize to Spice for calling her a monkey? I would have if she was genuinely broken from that comment. But let's go back to the day it happened. She went on live and ranted for three hours on live, saying I had all types of STDs. Even mentioned Safari a few times. She didn't know I said that. She didn't know I said that until producers told her I said that. What she was more upset about, which made her go on live, her falling flat on her face her because she just had surgery. That was the whole thing on why Rashida and Kurt was even pissed because she just had surgery. Because even Kurt and Rashida went on live. No one mentioned Monkey because no one knew about Monkey until producers brought it to their attention. Um, the same, literally, we fought. I went about my business the same day, the Monkey comment day. She went on live. You could pull it up. It's all over the blogs. I, I had lawyers contacting me, asking me if I wanted to sue her for defamation, that they were ready to just do it. I didn't have to put money up because they were like, you have a case. You could sue rocks off of her. She sat on live for hours at the airport saying I had all types of STDs, saying stuff about me with Safari, ranted about everything. And that was that day. The whole week after that, she was even mo making posts about my two, like, sub I'm doing subliminals, like, this is what real life is, her at a, at a stage or whatever. This is what real life is. Ain't no 2B. So she was even, like, throwing jabs about me and my movies and this, that, and third for a whole week straight. It was genuinely like, oh, my God. She heard me say it and felt, yes. I would really sit up here with my blue shoes in my hand and apologize. Do you feel like you were set up by production? I really feel like production went, they, they were like, oh my God, this is going to be great ratings. Let's go with it. And what they failed to realize is that, yeah, it brought ratings, but it also brought backlash that you now have to stay face for and probably lost a lot of sponsorship. So they really chose to promote racism, but yet they want to have table talks now. And I'm not, not taking accountability for what I Yes, I did it, whatever. You know what I'm saying? But if you're going to show that, you should have shown her falling on her face too because that's really what she was mad about. 
What would you like to say to the black community who are offended by it? Because you do have a lot of black supporters. Well, above all things, I'm sorry. From the bottom of my heart, I'm sorry. Um, and like I said, I, I really genuinely want to do the work. But I want to do the work to take action to prove that I'm sorry, not just say it and, and, and walk away because this is going to die down. That's not my mentality. This is why I'm sitting here with you. If so you guys noticed this guy was very direct. I think he did a good job. But you guys noticed her nonchalantness behavior. When he asked her, do you want to apologize to Spice? She said no, because she didn't really care about me calling her an animal. How is someone not going to care about you calling them an animal? She, she said she only was upset because she fell on her face. Naturally, it wasn't really showed, right? But for this woman to continuously just come out here, insult us, say all type of damaging, derogatory stuff to us, and then for them to say how we feel or don't feel, just the audacity. You guys notice when he asked her, what do you have to say to the black community considering that there's the one that basically pays your bill? And this is when she say, I am sorry, which I translate to, I don't really give a shit because I know that y'all will continue to support me. And I truly feel like this is why she gave this fake ass apology. Like you're a get out here. Nobody cares about you. Nobody wants anything from you. We don't care about your fake ass apology. You guys notice that this woman also had the audacity to say that the producer set her up. Like this woman, like, oh my God. Black woman, please stop giving these women access within our space. Unfortunately, black women continue to do this because black women know that black male don't really like them. So what black women will do so that these women in conjunction with black male don't come out here and call them a hater, black women then will befriend these women knowing damn well that these women don't like you. They wouldn't spit on you if you were on fire. Black women tend to live vicariously through these non-selected group of women as well as these self-hating black male. But nonetheless, guys, this is all that I have to say on this whole predicament. But I would love to hear about what you guys have to say about another preference coming out here thinking that she was special, thinking that because of her non-blackness, she would come out here and get a better version of these self-hating black male. And like I continue to reiterate in all of my video, you can't expect someone to love you when these males don't even love the womb that they came out of. Imagine me expecting to receive any type of love from a male that don't really like his mother. That is just delusional. Nonetheless, guys, what are your thoughts and opinion are? Please get in the comment section down below. And I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye, guys. Black women, it's time to hold ourselves accountable because we are reaping what we sowed. We have lied and gassed black men up for centuries, letting them think that they are kings with no kingdoms, letting them think that they are the emperor when they are naked. And now we are dealing with the consequences of those actions. Instead of being honest with black men and requiring them to do better for not only themselves, but the community that they help create, we have allowed them to tear it apart and then put it back together quietly behind their backs and then still let them get the credit for it. <laughs>